Blessed love, man, as I respect. Yes, we'll family. Yeah, man, great. And I feel the hype on the program, man, today. This is the program. I just started my host. And I'm here. It's a great thanks. honor to be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka. Yeah, man, give thanks. Yes, give thanks to bring it. Yes, sir, give thanks. Yes, sir, got First you. First and foremost, more of the... Um, yeah, man, we give thanks to bring us forward and greetings in the divine name of the Imperial Majesty. I repent. Yes. Emperor Eilis Selassie first. We don't get it yet. No, we don't get it yet. Imperial Majesty Empress was our remaining in our mindset. Start provoking, you know. And of course, I remember I just started out there with our brand new Mindset Series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, I just start Mindset Channel, YouTube. Bless it, love. Um, very sensitive song. You know, N Endoir uh, feature featuring Isaac. See, um, to what we see going on today, you know, around the world, and you know, especially what we see happening in in Nigeria of recent. Very yes, sensitive I song, you know, Endoir, and. What what are the high views and what you see happening in in Nigeria at the moment? I give thanks for the question. I give thanks hearing the song too for the listeners, you know. And yeah, what we see going on in Nigeria in, in our continent, our royal continent of Africa, is heartbreaking to see. But you know, the question is, what's really the agenda? You know, and setting the people against their own people. What is the agenda? You know, we know there's a bigger chess move mm -hmm. at play. Um, you know, so I had go out to the innocent ones who've lost their lives, you know, in the confusion. But as we say, you know, it's a world of illusion too, you know, okay? True. And... One has to be mindful and careful, you and I and I self, of how you, how you, how you, how you absorb these occurrences in the earth right now, you know, because mm -hmm. it's part of a of our overall strategy, as as we know, you know, the one will order chess game is the ultimate checkmate that them ones they seek, so. But we are confident of the victory of good over evil, you know? True. Master Farai. Yes, I. So that's the I know. So, yeah, you know, even I, I was saying earlier that, you know, all these civil unrest is not, it, it, it not just come, so it, it, it's a part of the, you know, this big pandemic where we see it happen today, you know. Anything where we see go happen now is, you know, is in line with, you know the old the old plan that the system have. Yes, I. So, remember the honourable Vaughan Benjamin don't tell us already. You know, anytime Babylon want to do so, them can just necessarily do it. You know. Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, we as a people know because. We know any interruption or you know any little thing that we see happen right there now in Nigeria. It it's not just happening. It's not just happening. So you know we know that you know there are some other guys behind you know the whole thing. See and all of a sudden now you know we don't hear we 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 not see nobody a, a social distance and these type of things where them as a boy. You know, you have to keep a distance from people for you know coming, you know, for contract this thing, you know, this virus thing. So we're probably going to see in a couple of days and, and probably the mainstream media say boy, you know, a lot of people in Nigeria, you know, um have this thing, you know, through what we see happen. 
True. It's a chess board, you know? It's a chess board and the citizens of Earth have to be wise and mindful and try to focus on nature and what's real, you know, and get the clarity through them frequencies there. Because a lot of it is more than subliminal, even the six feet, the so-called distancing, and you know, the, the six feet, what you do, the six feet. But we know, you know, six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons, you know, carbon-12. So, mm. you know, <laughs> no matter how they step in it, Bubba, no matter how them turn it, you know, no matter how them shift it, carbon-12, I and I, you know, the manipulated ones of the Earth, you just have to know who we are and remember who we are and organize and centralize because it's been too long we've been used as pawns on the same board. Just stuff around the pieces, different people sitting at the seat, opposing seats, respective side of the board, and so it's there, you know, and we in the middle, so. Oh, oh we change all that. All of what we see are going because it's a long time these things are happening and I just yesterday you know. Zin and true, true. We, we 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 still are facing it hard. We're still facing it hard and we still are trying to find ways and solution or to deal with um you know what we find ourselves in a you know or or which or we change it. You see me because we are bridging like the I O you know, sing songs, you know, put, um, you know, your thoughts together and turn them into melodies and, and things just to inspire and uplift ones. How, you know, how we change this as as an as artist, you know, from, from where you stand? You feel say the music alone that going have in, enough impact, you know, for impact the mind of the people so them change the way them think. I love the question, give thanks, you know. It's a beautiful question, King, and give thanks. Majesty. You know, and as an it's a it's a really beautiful question. Um well let's say that you know we are African and we know that the whole earth starts there and we know as well that it takes a village to raise a child, you know? True. Um, and a village consists of respective yards and respective homes and respective lives within one collective verb, action, you know? Yes, sir. Um, and I think, you know, the foundations of a civilization, regardless of how old or how dominant or not is rooted in the principle of that you know one house at a time what what you practice at home is what you will produce out a road or out there yeah. you know yes sir and there was a time you know we've been fortunate to have been on the rotation of the earth for some a little while and there's there was a time even before we were here or the ice for many listeners, when moral and values and basic, you know, respect for humanity existed, no matter where the power balance of the economy was. Meaning that the man who poorer than poor and live on the same street to the man who drive a motor car have a same mutual respect because they respect each other on a level of humanity first, you know. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to fix it, as you say, my brother, how do we check that or put it in check? It have to start again there, where as musicians, as artists, as singers and players of instruments, it is as, as DJs, radio hosts, anyone who has the passion or the mediums, the vehicles, the instrumentalities of music through their you know, song, it's imperative for us, especially artists, to lead by an example of what you are singing about, mm -hmm. you know? So for me and our music, for us and our music, it's rooted in 
community, it's rooted in uplifting, as the I say, give time. And to change it, you have to be a visible action of what you are asking ones to subscribe to or what you are rallying against, you know? You have to live that. You have to show that example, and it starts within each other. And I think that's where we'll begin to change it. Love for each other is very important. When you can't love your neighbor or your brethren, if it, or your or your, your 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 partner, if you don't love yourself, you know. True. So, a lot of it, my brethren, come out of. We've lost that. I had listened to a beautiful program. Give thanks again for your work. I what just started and read live radio. With the ancient brethren, Shasha Mali, you know? Yes, sir, and from Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. Royal salute to Ghana. I know the I Empress is of Ghanaian, you know? That's the Bloodline. Fire. Yes, it's sir. Salute to the Empress and the Idrin. And my Idrin's root village, Ghana, as well, as we mentioned in Ghana and all of the continent. But yeah, my brother, that's how I think we have we begin to address it because it's not something that we can fix as simply as okay, we just go fix that because it's broken. You know? It takes a lot of conversation too. It's gonna require a great deal of all the things that his Imperial Majesty has spoken of. Mm-hmm. You know, the the collective security. Because international international morality still remains at stake all now while we're reasoning right now, wherever you're there on the earth, you know. We're seeing it. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way I think, my brother, we can begin to address it, you know. All right. Um we we as a people, Zin, cause we 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 I and I we are Rasta. Right and sure. within within the rest of the world, you have you know different religions and different denominations. Different from different from Rastafari, right? you you know we 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 have Christianity and we have Islam, and most of most of our people follow those those um those two religions do you think that the the, the uh, change is going to come from either of 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 those denomination within within the african community or the african community is going to have to give up those two religion to really see some form of change because I and I as Rasta as I say we see things totally different and this is not the question is not to 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 put down um our brothers and sisters who practice Christianity and, and, and who practice Islam, you know. Respect sure. a man for you know his religion, you know that is a man personal personal thing. You see me I say, but within even it being personal, we know say you can practice certain things and it's a detriment to you. You understand? Like Correct. if a man drink too much, you know, after a period of time him him going to be him going to become an alcoholic and him not going to only be a danger to himself, but him going to be a danger to other people out there. Yes, sir. True. So the question I may ask the eye, if you say we're going to have it, because we not, we not practice those things as Rasta. If you say the rest of our brothers and sisters, them, them going to have to put, put that aside in order to see some form of um, positive change another great question you know and give thanks majesty well you know we are students and we are sons and daughters of his majesty and 
Again, it's a beautiful question. A religion is a set of rules and regulations, you know, mm-hmm. created by mankind with the intention, really, they say, to help people grow, you know, spiritual, spiritually. But um, His Majesty said we must stop confusing it. We must stop confusing religion and spirituality, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Because Jordan said it, you know. And Father said we must stop confusing the two. So, yes, there is two. We check that there's Rasta and there's other religious persuasions and so. But, you know, Africans are in bondage still because of that. Um, misinformation or because of that still being under the spell because you know we have to be very careful when we cast the stone you know mm. because none of I and I is worthy to throw no stone you know um, and a lot of times it might be just through a lack of the right that the right information you know the right example again going forward to what we say just now it, it starts at home God. It starts at home, Rasta man, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we know cut you know, you say two years say it start at home and you know, we know Africa is home. You see me I say and <laughs> <laughs> when 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 you look upon um how Islam and Christianity have our brothers and sisters in Africa. Zin as I say, is a, is 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 laws and, and 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 rules that is made up by man. Mm-hmm. You see, me I say, is nothing to benefit the people them. Mm-hmm. And at at home, at home, it 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 not look like no change. It not look like no mm-hmm. change because you go certain places in Africa, them not like Rasta, them not like your ear and. The narrative that you know we 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 have, you see me. I say, mm-hmm. oh, we, oh, we bring across certain things. You know, them I go say, boy, Silasi was a man we do this and a man we do that, and you see me. I say, true. Sure. But them fully accept something that is not there. Is it visible? Yes, I. Even out here, even out here, so too, you know, but, you know, as they are, they are talking about home, you see me, I say? And yeah, so, that's how we home, and, you know, if home not set good, then, obviously, you know, we can dance proper yard. It's like right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, because it's a movement towards something none can visualize, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. Is that we really? <laughs> you know, but is that what we really the point? It's a movement towards something none can real visualize. It is the new race's majesty described. You know, to your question, how can we change it? How can we, you know, what the, do we have to let go of, of of some of the religion to see the light and see our way? You yeah. know. Spirituality is, is, is a simple way of life and liberty. It's pure and original as you see the seasons rotation where you see one season yeah. is plenty of on the tree and next season is bare branch. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. You know? True, true. We need to, you know, go to go back to the roots, the original. Yeah. You know? Because watch now. Not a cut the eye. Yes, Very sir. briefly, watch now. When you man a bushman, you know we live in the hills, so we relate a lot of life to that. And when you when you have a plant that you start from seedling or seed to seedling, and then over the progression of time, the plant starts to outgrow the pot, and you have to replant it. Every time you replant it, you know replant the roots, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. True, true. You know, replant a seed. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we must 
we have to hold on to that network that is linking us to the Most High and the universe. And stop confusing religion and spirituality, you know. Because like 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 His Majesty say, you know, the body houses our life, and the temple of the Most High begins there, you know. Rastafari. Celestia the first. Yes, I. Yes, I. All right, man. I want the people them say we are pick on them, so you know. <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I true, but you know. We have to yeah. differ from the, you know, the really just, really just have us in bandage, seriously. But, um, yeah. you know, for, for somebody who, you know, who does probably a come across the eye, or probably does a hear the eye, you know, which, which part, which part of the eye born, you know, which part, you know, the, you know, the west here, you know, which part of the eye forward yeah. from? So we are from Trinidad and Tobago, you know? Yes, sir. Beautiful Trinidad and Tobago. Stand up, respect every time. Yes, sir. Give thanks. Yes, yes sir. So all the eyes start out. All the music start out for the eye. We are going to you know, drag the eye memory a little bit. <laughs> well, um, for us, you know, the music started out around three years of, of age through being in you know, we were raised by our grandparents. I want to acknowledge and salute them for their contributions in grooming I to become a better person as I have grown and continue to grow as we grow, you know. So give thanks and their ancestors now. So we also give thanks to their present all now. Yeah, man, give thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, and all grandparents and all who have experienced the love, the love and joy of grandparents, salute to them, you know. Yeah, and your both and angels who looking above as ancestors right now, wherever you are in the earth. Um, so yes, yeah, so music started for us at three. Our grandparents um, owned a piano. Uh, it was bought for my mother, who was, you know, the first person to play the instrument in the house. And she wasn't too interested in it. It remained there and growing with my grandparents, they introduced me to that instrument and put me into a music school within our community, um, very well known at the time, to be groomed and taught the rudiments of the instrument and music in general. And that's really where it started for us right there, you know. See, Rasta, from a very tender age, man. Yeah, give time. Yes, I so all right. So them time that they I when when um cause they I probably never think about reggae music. Probably your your, your grandparents them was some Christian as well. <laughs> oh you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know I... <laughs> Yeah well, you know, it it uh, it's natural. You know, it's natural. Yes, go. Go, you know? it's, but it's we natural. give thanks for that same way because it helped us become who we are all now, even the eye, you know? Yes, I. Uh, again, fundamental principle that are the pillars of any society, wherever you are. And, um, yeah, um, you know, the, 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 the opportunity to have music so early was something that I didn't really appreciate or quite understand, you know, as you say. And because my grandparents were very, um, I've, you know, staunch Roman Catholic, and we grew up in that environment, reggae music was something you heard in your neighborhood, but, but you never really heard it playing within the walls of your own house, mm -hmm. you know. So you are, you are exposed to it, and as you get older, you know, you're, trod into school and so you, you get into interact with the Rastaman and see the when you go and market with your grandparents on, on a Saturday or Sunday you, you see enough Rastaman and you, you, you see how they interact with the people and that was my first introduction to you know say reggae or hearing and seeing the culture and then you know we start to read and get into a lot more of ourselves and who we are seeking something outside of that religion box, as you said before, the religion, you know? Yeah, man. And find 
going through um, Bob Marley's music. You know, as a young academic, we're there and we reasoning among ourselves and music is a topic and so on. You discover the music of Bob and Tosh and you really start to say, but wait, you know, this I can relate to way more than what Father or Pastor say Sunday morning, you know. <laughs> and I feel I'm more, when you, when, as someone who has been there from experience, at that time in my life and my journey, I could feel a celestial difference in energy if I was around the, the pastor or the church. And if I was even walking or driving in a vehicle, a taxi, a maxi, and sight a rasta man, there was an energy difference, you know? So, yeah, um, reggae music wasn't something we were thinking of in that time, but as we progressed through our teenage years, you know, we would play, play. We we were buying records secretly, and hiding them, stashing them from our grandparents. And when they go to church early Sunday morning, you know, we nice up the place. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yes, I. Yes, that's yeah. all right. Yes, my general. All right, you know, some more and play another song from the eye. This song. Yes, I. Blessed is the man that walked not in the council of the ungodly, nor sitting in the way of sinners. For his delight is in the law of the most high God, and his Lord does he meditate day and night and night and night and night. His Lord does he meditate day and night and night and night and night. We got it now in our view We tried it to the seals and we had it to Javali Ten pound of Kali We got it now in our view We had it to the seals and we tried it to Javali Original reverence. Wicked Babylon boy system. I track your title ten pound a Kali. Pound a Kali, we got it now in our view. We tried it to the seals and we had it to. Who don't mind ten pound right now, no? Pound a Kali, we got. I'm gonna could have take one still. Tried it to the seals and we tried it. You know what I mean? Me, I really am satisfied with one man. In all living things. Again, again, again The defender of faith Them from the Cali We got in a win Voice of the mountains cultivated by insane Them boy there make millions out of ganja you know, you know. People who defend ganja and get lack of ganja. Them now make not even zing. Rose Village Ghana, you're large every time. I start to hide. Kali featuring Wise. You better be wise. You know. We have 20 minutes to the hour 10. We are continuing the conversation. 10 pound of Kali, Reverend. You have it by you right now? Yes, I. <laughs> you know? 
Lovely vibe. You don't move without it, you know? Rastafari. Yeah. So, only sacrament, you know? So, nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> yes, King. <laughs> yes, yes. Where, where are the eye there now? They are in Trinidad now or they are outside of Trinidad? Well, you know, we would have loved to have been in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago right now, but we are here in the, you know, the divided states of America. What? Do you ever call the people in place that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just see it as we see it, you know, and we <laughs> here, you know, it's truth and right and love and light. Yeah. And as we grow and continue to grow as we grow, we realize that sometimes when you try to not offend someone or some platform or perspective, you can be doing yourself the greatest harm. So you might as well just keep it true and real, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I mean, that's what it is. In, in my, humble, my humble opinion, with all due respect yes. to all citizens of the place, you know. All due respect, no disrespect. But you would be atrocious to even suggest or try to imply to anyone of reasonable thinking or of any form of academia that it is not the divided space. Because, I mean, come on, just put on any platform you have, wherever you're the electronic, and you're going to see. <laughs> 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 Who did that? <laughs> yes, that's a, all right. Um... You know, we know, we know, we Rasta love for say boy, them not, them not um, into politics and all of these things, but we still kind of see who, you know, especially in America and England, you know what I mean? Rasta always know the name of the president, them or the prime minister, them two countries there. Uh-huh. What, what, what are the high thoughts upon, um, you know, the upcoming election? Over there, so which part the item there? Your fee, say boy, any any one of them party there, um, be successful in a them endeavors now. Your fee, say, it are gonna bring unity to you know even the the black Americans them in in a we gonna say a end of you know police brutality and and you know end of racism. Hmm. Um, well, it seems very apparent that the desire for the want of the end of racism and so and bigotry and, you know, um, injustice and police brutality, it would seem that it's apparently just a fleeting illusion, you know to be pursued and never attained. Mm -hmm. Because, (laughs) I'm just saying, you know, because, (laughs) you see, again, it come forward to the reasoning God. It begin at home, it begin at your dinner table, you know, it begin in your yard and from your yard across your neighbor fence and your neighbor yard and so, because there was a time when it's, I do have no, I do have no, no, no food to cook, but I have a whole heap of mango and thing are rotting up and falling all over the yard. I can't bring send a youth or say, you know, come go by Uncle I just start and carry two box of avocado and and mm. and get the two some mango and some plum and and they was, you send over something for I to cook some green plant, you know, so you know True. and it, you know it's. Until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes. You know? Until the basic human rights. The basic. Nothing not, nothing more. Just the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all. Fleeting illusion, my lad. You know? Collectively so. So that's why it is imperative for, for ones and ones to organize and centralize and take a stock, take a breath and stop and, and just one minute along your way during the day and just stand up and check yourself and say, really, what really going on in this world of confusion and illusion and where am I in it? 
Because no matter who is sitting there, whatever color or 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 party or elected official is there, price of bread and water is the same in the morning, you know. <laughs> you know. So it's up to the people to hold life in a high regard, you know, and the good gifts of life that nature provides as key elements because it's not going to change like that, my brethren. We are fortunate to be a parent and co-parent of a few youths and when we reason with them and thing and we ask them their perspectives from where they're looking at it through the lens, you know, and what they see ob- objectively going forward, even when we know it's in Iowa now, we within certain realms of existence and they're dead there still, you know. And it's like, it's so ingrained into the, the fabric, the moral fabric of of this landmass where we're there, a reason which you're from right now, that it's going to take more than prayer and it's going to take more than, you know, marching. It's, it's really, it really take a heart to heart and until mankind can find itself, it's because in every man, in every man chest beats a heart. You know, and until we can find that, now nah, my brother, fleeting illusion. Um, the 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 end of the end of that speech there, um, you know, His Majesty, you know, we Africans will fight, you know, if if necessary, and we'll fight. Cause we want, you know, for triumph over good, um, triumph over evil. Yes, sir. Um. We, we 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 see that in America it 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 seems like there's no um ending to 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 this racial to this racial thing you know to to how to how we say things set up you know matter who go and come and um be in power you know we see Obama came and you know, nothing, nothing, nothing significantly changed. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Um, he were meant. He, he was supposedly uh, a black man. You know what I mean? And we, we, we not seen a change from the black man. So we can't, you know, depend on anyone else now. If you say, boy, them gonna be a funny change. You know, it, it all go after um. It's going to boil down to us now. Because, you, you, what do you feel like? You feel like say, um, it going to be a peaceful way everybody, um, you know, come to change. Or you feel like blood going to run for, 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 for your change come. You know, especially in America. You know, because we see police still are, 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 are um, kill black youths and we we still have see things that come out daily you know lynching you know a black a black youths and you know sometimes we even hear them them might end up some other places you know mm-hmm. it are where you feel you feel like it are gonna be a peaceful thing where um everybody has a um black life matters and then you have a next set of um, people as a boy. Our life matters. Feel like um, blood have to run for you. I feel like it's going to be a bloodless revolution. Well, they had said that those revolutions wouldn't be televised, you know. But, um, now we are seeing the revolution right within the palm of our hand mm-hmm. on our wrist, depending on what device they are catered to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, true, true. You know, true, true. And um, it takes a revolution to have a solution. And if we understand 
the history of Earth's progression, we'll know that it's almost inevitable that there must be bloodshed involved for, to impact any semblance of sin because, you know, we, the hope is always for diplomacy to prevail, for mm -hmm. morality to, to, to reign supreme. But the reality is man of right is God in flesh and man of, you know, wrong is devil in flesh. And True. There's still man, same True. man. There's True. still a living organ organism made up of carbon, 12, as we say, the six electrons, six foot, you know, six neutrons, same way. Mm -hmm. Because here's the question now that, that, that we can ask Babylon. All right then, say, we're here and we are standing up for equal rights and justice in the form of actively protesting, silently, right? No bloodshed. And you come now armed up with we sit down with flag and maybe some reggae music and some spliff or bun and thing and people are mingle and protest silently. You just reason on a form of action, right? Protest. And you come here now with your big gun and your big dog and your no different than in the sixties, king and them man there. They come now with them big riot shield and tear gas bomb and thing. And scatter the people. Here's the question now. The people have to ask, if you are a parent and you are wearing the uniform of the Roman soldiers of Babylon, and you know that this morning when you were sitting at your dinner table eating your cereal or in I and I people, you know, kids, we, we munching some porridge or some yabba, and you had a reason with your youth, your flesh and blood, who say, Daddy, I go in now to this evening with my friend and them, and we go in and stand up and defend the right. And you know you put on that uniform, my lad, and you have a high risk of when you let go two of them gas in the crowd, your daughter go. So the heart, the, 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 the heart that beating in every man, that's that, to rinse it off by a man. <laughs> if we really serious about any change, because otherwise it's just a lot of words song and no power behind it, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you watch it, every living organization, every living organism, sorry, is made up of carbon. Black base, you know. And it got to be arms and arms and arms to make a change because we've tried to talk, we've asked, we've you know, we've 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 negotiated, we've we've tolerated, we've you know, the people have you know, the people have worked have worked with le with less, with nothing, have worked lived in deplorable conditions for generations, have dealt with generational wealth gap disparity, have dealt with inner city crime and violence driven by Babylon mashing up the Trinity structure of the home again come forward to the home and the high incarceration rate of a certain, you know, member of your society or members. So when you look at the things and you look at what's up against you and your constitution still considers, you know, African as only a percentage of a human gene and them thing there. Africa with its creators has to mean that its creators haven't arrived yet, you know, so. Natural, naturally. It's like, <laughs> you have to check yourself now and say, well, okay, if I dare England, if I dare Trinidad, if I dare America, wherever. And not just Africa and all clean heart people, because I don't want the listeners to feel at all that is a one-way thing, you know, because His Majesty don't say, you know. International morality, collective security for all. But it's the Africans that have to lead the way because that's where time began, you know, and as in the beginning, so it shall be. Yes, sir, you know, the fullness, you know. The whole world going on around us. I want the people to know that, that there's a whole beautiful world going on right around you. And as you breathe in that prana, you're breathing in much more than air, you know. 
And if we could just take a moment and try to inhale it and hold it and feel the power. It's a great thing because as hard as it is and as messed up as the world we see ourselves living in might be, nature is a beautiful thing, man. If you feel alive, just buck up somewhere for a few minutes and sight up a sunset. And let me hear, tell me what you say, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, in terms of the music, outside of the music, um, the 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 eye is also someone who deal with natural juice. See, when when we first um link up and thing, you know, the eye said the eye was an entrepreneur. Talk to me about that 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 whole side of the eye, you know. <laughs> And give thanks, um, you know, coming from out of Trinidad and Tobago, which is the mecca of creativity, um, we instilled with certain, you know, passion. And um, the journey as an entrepreneur sort of began in Trinidad as a youth um, seeking additional means of income and not all, you know, not feeling comfortable with the nine to five thing, you know, and when life made a shift for us and we came forward to, you know, America, um, found ourselves in a very peculiar place for who we knew ourselves and all standard of living and type of liberty to be um, because, you know, we came forward in a place where you're considered an alien, you know, <laughs> an immigrant and thing. Because we have a few youths and things, as I say to the man, both here and abroad, we have to provide for them. And, you know, I had to just find a way to provide or, or go home to Trinidad and Tobago as a failure. And failure is not something that we really prescribe to, you know. Too tough. So we started being an entrepreneur because our back was up against the wall and we had to feed our our young family and, you know, we applied some of the experience we had gained from the Caribbean, from Trinidad and from working throughout the Caribbean in establishing um, a platform through construction, you know, to feed our family. And from there, we were able to, over time, eventually um, manifest some other visions we had for for business um, through that same entrepreneurial passion and platform. Yeah. Rastafari. Yes. Highly high. So the 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 um the juice bar, or or the juice bar thing go. Well, the juice bar, you know, raw life juice bar, breathless beauty. Um. We'll be having a birthday in a few days, just about a, a month from this day. And we'll be turning 11 years, you know. And um, the juice bar came about through, you know, transitioning from New York City in terms of residence to the hills. And again, you know, coming out and needing to sustain the, the vegan liberty that that we practice and um, there was a hard time we found it very difficult to find certain basic ingredients that you know eat and support that liberty and that lifestyle and type of eating and mindset so you know we figured well we, we're entrepreneurs you know we're hustlers we're going to juggle and we're going to see what can we do to create some kind of income while we're here. And because there was no um, one providing this service, which is a, a service that every community needs, we endeavor to undertake bringing it forward into reality, you know. And we start to with the shop as, you know, just one platform, and we continue to grow as we grow. The Juice Bar was born within the 11 years, somewhere around the middle point. It's an all organic juice bar. We are farm to table primarily when possible. Um, 
vegan, gluten free. And it's, you know, a hub of great energy and it's meant to be a community center to all the ones. And um, we're grateful for you asking about it and being able to share a little on that, you know, give thanks. Yes, I. Yes, I. So, all right. Um, we don't have much time left still, but um, in, in the, the, what we find ourselves in now, Zin, because I was saying earlier that a lot of people um been losing them job seeing because uh the whole COVID nineteen scenario. Um how how has that um impacted the eye business? Um it's been it's it's had a it ha, it's had a, a very huge impact on business because you know, for us we had we were we were locked down for a significant period of time. Um, during your first quarantine phases and when we reopened since reopening we only function at maybe less than a little under 50 percent capacity you know regular percentage of operation so we only do three days a week when you are strong when usually we would do six or seven and we've seen in terms of the the, the, con the people being able to um, engage in spending and supporting businesses big and small a significant change you know people just are unemployed like the i say a lot of ones um, have lost their jobs and, and our business platforms too have been affected by that so it's had a it's had quite an impact and our heart goes out to the ones who are fellow small business owners and who have had to lose their businesses due to time because it's really difficult to maintain, you know. So if you're able to give thanks to the most high for those blessings. Rastafari. Yes, yes I. Um the I before we came online the the I was mentioning um an acoustic an acoustic song that um the item Ida is working on at the moment. Let, let um give, give give us a little bit more insight, you know, even myself, you know, because you know what 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 is coming. Well, um, you know, before we even speak on that with the time we have, I wanna say um one of the most significant things that are coming with from original reverence is our involvement in a multinational reggae compilation album um, entitled Reggae Music is the Cure, which is put together by the Honorable Brethren Ras Big Mill of Big Mill Productions, Virginia LLC, Reverend De Ras Big Mill Give Thanks, um, on the Rise of Rhythm, and it's a Soul Fire production. It's being executively produced in California by the Brethren Ben Barbic features many artists globally. And this in, this initiative and this collaboration of voices is in aid of the mustard seed community in Jamaica, which is a 501c3 nonprofit that's dedicated to the caring of the most vulnerable members of society, you know, from the handicapped to the orphans to the, you know, those who are forgotten. So that's what's happening mainly. Um, additionally to that, we, we're also working on a compilation with Macromande in Argentina on the quarantine rhythm um, alongside Santos and, and Brethren Maha from Colombia, and that's being produced by Legado Africano Radio out in Colombia. But to answer the question about the acoustic, so it's called Another Sunday Afternoon, and it's an acoustic um rendering of political commentary and you know it's something that we hope people can relate to because everyone has lost someone or has known someone who has some way you've been affected even if it's not your own personal family member it's someone you might have worked with or went to school with or you just are affected so that's what we're working on right now in the middle of all things um we're going to share it with the people very shortly, very soon. Um, yeah, that's what we're working on, you know. And 
our own single for that compilation with Mustard Seed Communities is also entitled Reggae Music is the Cure. So you can look out for that. Um, and if I can very quickly shout out Salma Queen in Nairobi, Kenya, the Peaceful Rise um, single produced by 24-7 Music Productions and the Steppers Rhythm. Their music video comes out on Friday the 23rd, so look out for that. And, you know, give thanks to I Just Stars for all the great work you've been doing and for being such a glowing light and example to the world right now because a lot of youths, especially the young youths, they're looking for direction, you know. And as you say, there's no, you know, there's no real leader to look to. So that's why we say as Rastafari, just look to the East, man, to the coming of a black king, you know. His name is Kadamari, I the last year, the first. Rastafari. Yes, I. Emma General is a great honor for you have the on a program, man. You know, give we th- give we give much thanks, man. We give <laughs> we give thanks. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the 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 program here is a very diverse program. Yes, you know, sir. And we know, you know, there is no partiality, you know, and 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 the program we we not partial, you know, and you know the eye is from Trinidad, you know, we have a lot of bridging from Trinidad and Tobago. You know that, yes, that that is always on this program, man. So yes, sir. we give thank we give thanks to the the connection, man. To last year, and 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 the network, and we you know we see the power that that this this whole um, network have. You know what I mean? Because I just reasoning and reasoning, and you know till we there right as right now. So true. Sure. We, you know, we, we, we as a people, we have a, we have a network and we have to communicate, you know, with each other and, you know, see how, you know, it's part of finding solution and, 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 you know, trying to find yourself, you know, you know, this journey. So I give thanks to the eye taking the time today. You know, it's a great honor for, for you have the eye. I know there's a lot more stuff that we haven't touched on. But you know we have time and space for the eye to forward again, another time. Yeah. You know, so we give thanks. Um, what the people them can find you if them want the juice or if them want the music. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it's just music and art, you know. So big up to channeling through spirit every time. But um, you can find our music on all digital platforms that are out there in the earth. Uh, Spotify, Insta, um, iTunes, um, all the platforms, you know, you can find us there, Google Play, everywhere. Um, Juice Wise, we're there in the hills, you know, in the mountains of Pennsylvania, in a town called Milford, and we are there. Also in every device and pocket, because if you need to know anything or you want to reach out for any, any reason at all that's helpful, you can always reach us on Instagram and these platforms, you know. And, you know, before we go, we want to, again, say give thanks to Cultivated Mind and all the players of instruments on that 10 Pong of Cali single that you shared with the listeners, you know, Brother Wise, Mark Conum on sax, Jalvin Perel on organ, and the insurmountable Anthony Maestro Brand on vocals. And every instrument you hear, man, guitar, bass, on drums, you know, and the King Street record camp. Give thanks. And give thanks, I just star for having us here. We really respect your work and we want to tell the listeners to make sure and tune in on November seventh. <laughs> right here. You know, watch it. <laughs> right here on the Reach Live Radio. With I just started tuning in for a really special, special, special moment in history and in time with a levication to the people's teacher and the people's brother, big brother, the Honorable Vaughan uh, Benjamin, you know, that yes, like a tribute. Sir. Make sure and tune in, you know. And before the I move, um, your experience with Vaughan, give me a little bit before you, 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 you move. Well, you know, 
very, very celestial, very, very uh, monumental, very humbling, very learning, and just a, a great teacher, you know, a brother who the world can see his work, you know, and and the and the pureness of his heart shine, mm -hmm. and that's who it that's who the man is, you know, and he's a he's a friend to many ones. And a, a, a direction and a light to many ones, and such an inspiration to us as artists as well. So, you know, my experience in having a chance to be in his midst a few times, those humble times, alongside my brethren Kalanji and others, you know, so many shows and things. We give thanks to be part of such light. You know, and we hope that in some way, just like Vaughn has always said, if there's merit in your music, the universe will hear you. We hope that in some way, by what we are doing in this humble walk, that the world, the universe is hearing, and that you know we we continuing in our own way to keep the lamp and the oil in that lamp shining, you know, to the whole world. Give thanks. Rastafari, give thanks, my brother. Again, for you know taking the time and you know making this um this this thing possible and yeah i want to you know say you know those manners and respect you know continue doing you know the great work where you know the item is doing on that side you know and you know continue to make the music same way that have an impact and influence you know so yes, all sir. the best my general and to the eye and the eye family you know Yes, I get that right. Just most royal salute, you know. Just continue your work. Continue to hold life in high regard. High regard, you know. In the self-control, motion, heaven and earth demand. And to all the listeners and those who have supported us along this journey, all now, we appreciate love your support. We don't take it for granted and we'll continue to do our best while we have the strength, you know. To keep Rastafari flag flying high. Give thanks, I just stars. Give thanks, United Kingdom, and give thanks, Rich Live Radio every time. Rastafari, give thanks, my brethren. Yeah, man. Yeah. Love and respect. Every time, Jack.